For your consideration, the 21st, 21st verse says, Speak to Zerubbabel, governor of Judah. Interestingly enough, speak to this political figure. I was told that one time that what Wooden doesn't understand is that you're supposed to separate your politics from religion. My response was, I didn't know that I was supposed to separate anything from my religion. My belief is that my relationship with God governs in every sphere of life, my life. Amen. I'm going to give you my subject. Then they quote Thomas Jefferson. He said, Separation of church and state. Thomas Jefferson did write a letter to the Baptist Association in uh, Connecticut. They wrote him, and they said to him, we think that there should be a wall of separation between the church and the state. What they were concerned about they were concerned that what was in England, what the British had, did not take root in America. And that is a government state-sponsored religion. So they wrote and said, let us put a wall between church and state. The context was to protect the church from the intrusion of the government. Wicked men got hold of it and flipped it. And now we try to protect the government from the church. When government doesn't need protection from the church. Anything that gets protected from the church gets corrupted. In business schools, they drop teaching ethics in business. And you know what they came out with? Uh, highly educated crooks who knew how to take advantage of people by, by selling them loans that they knew they couldn't afford. By doing all, doing all kinds of things that the business community and those with NBAs would not do as long as ethics were taught. Because that money manager knows that you don't know money. You don't know management. And they can do things and tell you one thing and do another. And the protection of the general public was the ethics to have politicians who divorce God, who separate God from their politics, creates a problem. I was in Washington, D.C. just this past week. I was entertained by several congressmen and senators. I wasn't summoned there to hear from them. I was brought there for them to hear from me. And I shared with them what was on my heart. We ended up uh, in the White House uh, un underneath the Situation Room. We went into areas where you couldn't bring a cell phone. You couldn't bring an iPad, an iPod, or any listening device. So you, you're deep in there now. See? And we, we talked about things that were dear to me. And, uh, and, and you, you, you know pretty much among the things was the battle for the life of the unborn. I saw one of the leading senators who's running. Um, I didn't speak with her, but I saw her office. And 
since it's public, uh, Senator Harris' office. And uh, I didn't notice this anywhere else, but in her office, Kamala, there's a beautiful flag of the state of California on her door because she represents that state. And next to it, there's Old Glory, flag that represents the United States of America. And then the third flag, larger than the other two, was the rainbow flag, representing the homosexual community. Codifying into law and promoting with the backing of legislation that which God calls an abomination. Preacher friend of mine told me the other day, Wooden, you can't legislate morality. I shot back at him and said, but you are legislating immorality. When you separate God from anything, when you take the Lord out, you are left with humans who have no compass. We do what we think. We do what we feel at the time. We, you, you, when you take the Lord out, we trust the worst aspects of our being, and that is our heart. The Bible says the heart is deceitful above all things. And, 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 and you know what? And, and brother, Jeremiah didn't call the human heart wicked. No, 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 no. He said desperately wicked. And then asked, who can know it? The devil couldn't answer. Angels couldn't answer. Seraphims couldn't answer. Cherubims couldn't answer. Nobody could answer but God himself. He said, I the Lord. I know the heart. I try the reins to give to every man according to what his works shall be. Oh, when we take God out, when we take God out, we take, we take uh, objective truth out. When the Lord is removed, then everything becomes subjective. Everything becomes relative. It's you have your opinion, I have mine. You see it your way, I see it my way. There is no arbiter when the Lord is taken out. And we need an arbiter. We, we need a place to turn to that settles the score.